What's going on everyone? In this video, we're going to be doing the weekly recap of the stocked up trading floor. Looking at the market over the past week, it has definitely started to pull back as volatility is on the rise. On top of that, we have a giant uh, crazy earnings lineup as companies like AMD, Microsoft, Starbucks, Meta, Arm, Boeing, Apple, Amazon, Intel, Coinbase, DraftKings, and many others are set to report. So there will be no shortage of uh, volatility and craziness for the week, which is a good thing. But getting more into this week's recap, we can see that there were four hybrid bot plays for the week. Uh, the first one was with CGC, which popped up by just under 49%. The next one was with GM puts, which popped up by 28%. Uh, then there was a GDX call play, which popped up by 22%. And then an NVIDIA put play, which popped up by around 19.5%. So there certainly weren't any like home runs like the NVIDIA put play from June 20th that popped up by 272%, or even the AMD put play that popped up by 260% from May. But these were a handful of good moves moves. And uh, again, while they weren't, you know, multi hundred percent, uh, they did uh, offer some good opportunities, which was good to see. So that was awesome. Uh, their swings weren't really too many updates uh, there with Square. That one was called closed out for basically a break even. So no crazy updates there. But uh, as we always say, uh, if you do not short put options already, definitely look into it. I've been saying this for more years than I can remember now, but when you have a stock that you're fine owning and it's around a price that you're fine owning it at, if you short a put option on that and you're fine owning those shares, you can really put yourself in a win-win situation. Um, it's called a cash secured put or selling a put option or writing a put option. And it basically is one of the most advantageous uh, positions you can put yourself in for multiple reasons. Not only do you get paid to potentially buy shares of a stock that you are a fan of and at a price you are a fan of, uh, but you also have an edge in the sense that the implied volatility that the option is priced by is theoretically a a little bit greater than what it should be, which benefits the person who is selling the option in that scenario. So basically, uh, if you don't sell put options already, definitely look into it. If you need help, feel free to reach out to Tom, Hunter, or myself, and we can definitely help with that. But besides that, thank you all so much for watching, and let's have a great week in the market.